Okay, today we're um, doing a little bit of testing. Here's my 3000 watt power inverter. It's off currently. I've got it hooked to just two batteries. Okay, and I've got my charge controller up here where um, if you can see that where batteries are 27.5 volts. We got 4.8 amps, 132 watts. I'm only um, doing a test here, kind of an experiment. Um, see, 27.7 volts are going up. My, well, I don't think you can see the light up in there. But anyway, batteries at 27.7. We got a green light. Basically, <laughs> I'm running this electrical wire, which is 14 gauge, which isn't really heavy enough. But this is just a test. So <laughs> essentially what I'm doing is I've got two solar panels out here in the sun. And I've got them connected together at this junction right here. They're in parallel. So like I said, it's only two panels. Two panels at 4.95 amps each. And we've got this way long 14 gauge house wiring that I'm feeding it from so you can see that it's you know it's not the right wire it's not definitely heavy enough we're down to 3.7 amps and we're charging at PWM on our batteries and it's working good so the next part I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, turn on the power inverter and we're going to see how well just two panels here we go turn on the power inverter went through the startup okay now we're at 4.9 amps 26.7 volts 26.6 so we're going to see <clears throat> we're actually running this uh, heat lamp 250 watt heat lamp off of the power inverter here so see our power inverter lights are green heat lamp is on we've got 26.1 volts 5 amps it's in bulk mode and we got 129 watts so I'm going to run this just to see how long it will uh run and keep the batteries charged well definitely i know that running this down here on 14 gauge wire is not going to work but it's not enough current but i do have some 10 gauge house wire up here in my shop and maybe i'll hook that up and see how it goes see how our batteries are looking see it's just not quite enough oh there goes the fan on the power inverter kicking on so the voltage has dropped and we're only pulling five amps so I really probably need to change out that 14 gauge wire so we can get more current because it's such a long run all right I'll keep you posted thanks for watching